Lithium has quickly become the defining element of the 21st century. We have entered the lithium age of civilization. 30 years ago, hardly anyone even knew what this stuff was, and we didn't care. Now, we are surrounded by it. You might be holding lithium in your hand right now. If not, it's in your pocket or on your desk. Your house is full of lithium. It's in your office, the coffee shop, your car. You can't escape lithium without escaping modern civilization as we know it. So it stands to reason that whoever holds the lithium holds the power. And for the past two decades, the infinity gauntlet of lithium production has been squarely on the fist of the Chinese Communist Party, and that's become, let's say, problematic as of late. But Elon Musk and Tesla have a plan to reverse the tide. Tesla is bringing their Gigafactory model to the world of lithium refining, and they are building this right now in Texas. On March 1st at Tesla's Investor Day, Elon Musk and his senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, Drew Baglino, confirmed that Tesla has broken ground on a brand new lithium refining facility in Corpus Christi, Texas. Tesla is claiming this refinery as the first of its kind in the United States. Elon stressed that the limiting factor is refining lithium, not actually finding it or even mining it, because no country has a monopoly on deposits. It's quite evenly distributed. Elon suggested that there is enough lithium in the United States alone to power the entire world. But in spite of the fact that the lithium supply and extraction is distributed across many countries, the process of refining that lithium ore into battery-grade materials is largely centralized in China. This one country produces over 65% of all refined lithium in the world, and they leverage that resource to supply around 80% of all lithium-ion batteries in production. That makes us dependent on them, which is a bad position to be in right now. Tesla's new refinery is the first step in solving that problem. This is a project that we first caught wind of back in September 2022. A report from Bloomberg News indicated that Tesla had filed with Texas state officials for a battery-grade lithium hydroxide refining facility in Nueces County. This is a location on the Gulf Coast, just a little bit north of Elon's Starship rocket testing facility at Boca Chica. According to their proposal, Tesla said the facility would process the raw lithium ore material into a state suitable for battery production. The resulting lithium hydroxide it creates would be packaged and shipped by truck and rail to various Tesla battery manufacturing sites supporting the necessary supply chain for large-scale and electric vehicle batteries. Tesla also said that the facility will use a new refining process that they claim is innovative and designed to consume less hazardous reagents and create usable byproducts compared to the conventional process. By early January 2023, Tesla had begun preparing the site for the refinery with a claimed price tag of $375 million and a plan to employ 165 full-time workers. By mid-January, Tesla had begun posting job openings for senior managers at the new site, looking for a superintendent, project scheduler, and area construction manager. And then, in a March 1st Investor Day presentation, Drew Baglino confirmed that construction is underway and that he expects to begin lithium refining production within one year from now and reach commercial-scale operations by the fourth quarter of 2024. At that same event, Tesla also confirmed that they have another construction project in the works, a brand new vehicle production gigafactory in Mexico near the city of Monterrey in the state of Nuevo León. This will be the location where Tesla's next generation vehicle platform will be manufactured, a vehicle that Elon believes will outsell every other Tesla model combined, an ultra high volume electric car that will be taking advantage of the fastest, most efficient vehicle manufacturing system in the world. They are going to need a lot of batteries for that, and obviously Tesla still intends to build a lot of cars at their Gigafactory headquarters in Austin, Texas, their production hub for the Model Y, the current best-selling car in the world, and the upcoming Cybertruck. And eventually, some kind of van-shaped robo-taxi thing, we're still not entirely sure what that's going to be. The point is, they're going to need a lot of batteries for all of that. 
So it's obviously no coincidence at all that Corpus Christi is located almost exactly in between Monterey and Austin. That refined lithium is going to be trucked into both gigafactories very easily. We know that Tesla is currently building a dedicated battery cathode manufacturing facility on the Giga Austin site, and this is where the lithium hydroxide will be combined with nickel and manganese to create the negative electrode for the 4680 battery cell. Naturally, we would assume that the same facility will be constructed at Giga Mexico, probably on an even larger scale, and given that the next generation platform is targeting maximum cost reduction and high volume, the battery cathodes manufactured there will combine lithium with iron to make LFP battery cells, though likely still in the 4680 cell format. Elon reiterated that in the near future, nickel cathode batteries will only be needed for long range applications, while the vast majority of heavy lifting for EVs will be iron based batteries, and the earth is made up mostly of iron, so that's an easy get. When Tesla mentions moving lithium by rail, that's probably how they intend to ship it out of their existing battery cell factory at Giga Nevada, a location that will continue to require a lot of lithium as the company expands this out to become the new production hub for their electric semi-truck. It's also no coincidence that Corpus Christi is located right on the Gulf of Mexico. Currently, the vast majority of the world's lithium is extracted from South America and Australia, with the largest known reserve located in Chile. So by making use of the Panama Canal, there is a pretty sweet shipping lane directly from those mines into the refinery. Tesla could even ship out the refined lithium. It's not much of a stretch to imagine a boat going through the Gulf across the Atlantic Ocean and into Europe's North Sea to dock at a German port and supply Giga Berlin with battery cell material as well. Tesla's entry into lithium refining has been a long time coming. Elon tried many times in the past to encourage other business people to get into this industry so that he didn't have to. Elon basically called lithium refineries money printers as the cost of battery grade material has skyrocketed over recent years. During a first quarter 2022 earnings report, Musk shared that lithium is responsible for quite a bit of cost growth in battery cells and therefore the single biggest cost growth factor for Tesla at the moment. At the time, Elon basically told investors that if someone doesn't step up to increase the supply of material, then Tesla would have to take matters into their own hands, saying, quote, So we think we're going to need to help the industry on this front, but the industry is very fast, and I certainly encourage entrepreneurs out there who are looking for opportunities to get into the lithium business. The lithium margins right now are practically software margins. Now, Obviously, the price of commodities can be volatile, and the going rate for lithium carbonate has fallen off since Elon made those comments, which came at a peak in materials costs. So if you look at the one-year chart, you might say that the price of lithium has tanked. But pulling back to look at the five-year chart, lithium is still trading at over three times the price it was going for pre-COVID, even though the current supply is largely meeting or exceeding the demand. So there is still a massive amount of profit to be made there, and if we are thinking long-term, which is what you should be doing with any smart investment, then we know that the demand for lithium will only increase over time. Even if supply and demand remains equal through 2025, by the year 2030, Bloomberg NEF has forecasted that lithium demand will begin to outstrip supply by a significant margin. Either way, in about a year from now, Tesla is going to start raking in those profit margins with their very own Giga Money Printer. Of course, no other automaker is doing this. The closest that we are seeing is some legacy manufacturers securing deals and buying stake with mining companies, which is something that Tesla was doing years ago. No one is even close to vertically integrating a full-blown refinery into their manufacturing process. That is going to give the company a significant leg up on the competition. It is totally unprecedented, so we don't even know how much of a difference this is going to make in the long run, but it is going to be very interesting to see how this one plays out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. 
You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.